Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to take the backup of a table in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can take the backup of a table in SQL Server. So let's jump to the demo. I got a test database here in my SQL Server instance and we got multiple tables. So for example if I show you the data for one of the table, like let me check the data for the customer table. So this particular table, it contains only two records. Okay. Maybe I can take the example of any other table with more data. So this currency table it contains 2652 records. So now suppose if I want to do some uh, changes in this particular table but before doing the changes or update I just want to take a backup of this table currency table so that in case I just need all the data back so I can just have a backup of this particular table okay. So there are multiple ways to take the backup. But the easiest method is that we can use the select star into new table name uh, keyword and that's the easiest method. So suppose I want to create a table with the name like uh, currency underscore backup then how I can write the query. Uh, let me just copy this particular query and paste it here. So what we will do select star after the star we need to write into and the new table name. So our new table name will be like currency underscore backup right so that's the only thing that you need to write select star into new table name from the table name so if you execute this query then it should create a backup of the currency table so you can see that 2652 rows affected and you should got a new table here select star and this one currency underscore backup so this table should be created along with all the data okay so and if you refresh the tables so you should see a table here currency underscore backup so let me refresh the tables and yeah you can see a new table here yeah so this is the method to take a backup of a table okay and now in case if you just want to create an empty table or and you do not want the data you just want an empty table so what you can do you can simply copy this particular query and instead of select star what you can do you can write select top zero star okay so what it will do it will just uh, create the schema of the table it will create an empty table okay and now maybe i can call the new table is uh, currency backup uh, without data okay i can call like this and if i execute this query so this will create a new table but data won't be there so if i refresh the tables so you should see a new table here currency backup without data okay and this table should be empty so let me show you that this table should be empty Sometimes we need the empty tables as well so that we can just insert the data from another table or from a select query you know. Yeah so you can see that the empty table got created here and here the actual table with the all data got created as well. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video. So I will share this script with you so that you can test it in your environment as well. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video.